Hey, what's up, guys? It's Craig Syracuse, so Walking Faith. Happy Thursday. It is October 1st. I hope you like the background. I have a new background now. Have you been with Jesus? When they saw the courage of Peter and John and realized that they were unschooled, ordinary men, they were astonished and they took note that these men had been with Jesus. And that's Acts. Do you have a passion for obeying the Lord? Or do you merely engage in Christian activities because it's the right thing to do? Friend, your Heavenly Father wants you to obey Him out of love, joy, and gratefulness, not out of obligation. He wants to pour Himself into you, shine through you, and give you a genuine love for all that He is doing, so you'll join Him in His kingdom mission. This is what people saw in Peter and John, men who served with joy, wisdom, and power that was not their own. It was obvious the Savior was working through them. Likewise, when you make time alone with Christ the priority, it affects and influences every single facet of your life. He gives you his energy, wisdom, and strength to fulfill his purpose and make you fruitful for his kingdom. Therefore, spend time with him. Soon people will recognize you too as having been with Jesus. Lord, my greatest hope is that all others would see you in me. Magnify yourself through me and my Savior. Amen. In his presence, make him your foremost focus. So there is a big difference between, you know, say going to church, you know, obviously before COVID, but going to church or, you know, following traditions and having a relationship with Jesus Christ. So you can still go to church, you can make all your sacraments and still not fully understand who Jesus Christ is, still not have a relationship with Jesus Christ. The way you build a relationship is by talking to him every day, being alone with him, meditating on his word, reading the Bible, you know, watching watching movies. Just the idea is to understand who he is and how he can impact and how he should impact your life. So just because you go to church, just because, you know, you, you say God bless you doesn't mean you fully understand who he is. He wants you to rely on him. He wants you to have a conversation with him. He wants to be your friend, right? He is our heavenly father, but he also is our friend. He's somebody that we need to talk to, someone we need to rely on, someone we need to go to every single day. That's why I say all the time about building a routine. And when you build this routine and when you build this relationship with Jesus Christ, you'll see how life is very different. And you'll look back and say, wow, I really didn't know who Jesus Christ was, even though I went to church, even though I followed tradition, even though I made my sacraments. So ask yourself that question. Do I truly know who Jesus Christ is? Am I in a relationship with Jesus Christ? Or am I just following traditions? Or am I just going to church? Ask yourself that question. And always remember, guys, you have the ability to inspire and evangelize the words and actions.